What's going on? What's going on? This be your boy Beastie Boy Drama. And first off, this is a demonstration and not a tutorial. Just to let everybody know before they got in the fall into the video. But uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you right here now is just my uh, the version that I do have. I do. I am running version 4.3. and I am running the black weed, and this will work for any color weed that you got. The black, red, or the white version 4.3. Just make sure of that. And these two right here are my uh, homebrew channel and my USB loader channels. So let's go ahead and get into the homebrew channel first. Show exactly how it works and all the, all the emulators that I put in it. First off, let's check out this NES emulator. And it loads up fairly quick and as soon as it loads up, it will load up all your ROMs that you have saved in your folder with it. And you can see I have quite a few ROMs, but there's plenty more you can download. Just gonna give you a quick demonstration of one real quick and let's do Super Mario Brothers. Check it out. And you can play this, uh you can play this with either the Wii Remote or if you have a classic controller or a GameCube controller. I am playing this right here with the Wii Remote. That's why I usually do all my regular NES games with just the Wii Remote, just turn it sideways. Feels pretty good that way. It's just like I don't know, like an actual NES controller because it's square. I don't know. Wow, I'm finished with this world already, man. I should get like a speed run of Mario or something. I finished that world in like 30 seconds. Look at that level. Yeah, let's go ahead and exit out of here. And that's just the main setup for the NES emulator. Next, we're going to check out, it's going to be the uh, Super NES emulator. And uh, the, the layout of it looks fairly similar, so it's like nothing too much different from the NES. So. No big confusion there. Just basically the same thing. Just playing Super NES games on it. Let's jump into it real quick. and It's real easy to download and install. If anybody want to... Uh, want the files uh, to put the Humble Channel or the USB loader on your Wii. Or how the instructions on how to do it. I do have that link in the description. You can check it out. And these are all my Super NES games. Pretty much the same layout. Let's go ahead and check out another Mario game. I think that's why I may do this whole video. I may just like do demonstrations on Mario. And it's pretty much the same layout. You do get to customize your buttons any way you want to. And with the Super Nintendo, I do play it with my GameCube controller. I don't have a classic controller or nothing. All I have is the Wii Remote and uh, a GameCube controller. But I mean, it works. It works just as good, though. Yeah, I mean, this is Super Mario World from Super NES 2, and it looks good. sounds good. Got Yoshi back. Let's go. I feel like I'm doing something, man. I need to start playing these games, man. <laughs> Feel like I'm doing a let's play. I need to get back to my let's plays. All right, been busy with this weed right now to getting it situated. All right, as you can see, I mean, the runs pretty smooth and everything. No lagging whatsoever, and pretty much every game on the NES and the Super NES runs like that. So we're gonna head exit out of this one. Enough of that. Let's get into the next one. And the next one I'm going to show you is going to be a little bit different. It is going to be the Nintendo 64 on the Wii. And um, I was kind of disappointed about it. I mean, it, it it runs okay. But, like, half the games you can't play and other half are, like, slow. And, like, you got a handful of games that you can actually play play. So, I mean, it's... I don't know. If you can find a good game to play for, you can play it then. And these are here all the just all the basic settings you can do for it, the video input and all that stuff. And you can load your ROM from three different places: a SD card, a DVD, or or from your USB. Right now, I'm gonna play another Mario game, Mario 64. No, a couple of you heard of it, probably. Mario. Mario. Alright, this is Mario 64. And this is one of the one of the few games that do run pretty good on the on the uh, Nintendo 64 emulator that the Wii has to offer, but it's not the best of the best, but it, it gets the jobs done, you know. 
yeah. and I am playing with my GameCube controller again. Yeah. The best thing to play the Nintendo 64 with on your Wii is yeah. the GameCube controller, because it automatically maps all the buttons to the GameCube controller, and it feels just like a Nintendo 64 controller, basically. So it's, it works out pretty good. Just running around with the the old GameCube controller. I mean, it gives it already feel. And like you see, everything is looking pretty good, pretty smooth. Let's go run in the castle real quick, just so that you can, you know, just like running Mario, complete worlds and such and such. I've gotten only one star, I haven't really played it. I just wanted to get that one star just so I could save it, so I wouldn't have to load this game back up and, oh, I missed the whole wall. He drunk now. <laughs> So I had to load the whole game back up and go through all that talking again. All right, That's some gibberish down there. I don't know what that was. Yup, and this is it basically right here, you know. Still looks the same, sounds good. But I mean, just just one of the few games. Don't get me wrong. I don't want you to go expecting to get this and play in every game perfect just like this. It won't, because <laughs> some games it won't do nothing for. All right, we're about to head out of here. And everybody go to the main attraction with what everybody want to see. You like the reason everybody gets the homebrew channel. Check it out. And I do have two ways to get to it. I can get it to from my Wii menu from the channel that I showed you, or I can go to my USB loader inside of my homebrew channel. And we're going about to check out the USB loader GX now. And as you can see, as soon as you load it up, the first thing you see is your Wii games, all the collection of Wii games you have. And I do have 29 right now. That's a little bit. And I have gotten every one of them free. Another thing that I liked about the USB loader is that uh, you can put a Wii game into your console and you can just burn it right to your hard drive. And another thing that I also like is you get to look at 3D views of your CD cases. Like, for instance, it's Super Mario Bros. Wii. Like when it starts off, when you click it, it starts like it's about to play the game, the CD's inside of it. Then you can also press the number 2 button and you can check out the 3D cover of the box. I thought that was pretty cool also. It's a nice little aspect to it, you know. Get into full detail on I mean, it's, it's a pretty good view. You still can get in close enough to see the words and everything, you know. And the dude loads up like it's loading the CD into play. And the load time is real good. It loads, loads right up. No lagging at all, so it is official. And I will put a link in the description where you can get this USB loader from and the games to go with it. Where you can download the games from. Now, if anybody wants a tutorial on how to install any of this stuff, just, just leave a comment and let me know. I mean, there's plenty of tutorials out there. I just want to give a demonstration on like how the emulators work and stuff like that. But if you want to see a tutorial, just give me a kind of leave a comment down. I'll leave a tutorial for you. But you can find plenty of tutorials up here on YouTube. Yep, and this is Super Mario Bros. Wii right here, another Mario game. I like me some Mario. Haven't played this one in a while though. I've beaten the game twice already though. I'm playing like a noob right now. I haven't played it in a while, man. I've been playing the new um, Metro, the other M. I was thinking about doing a Let's Play of that, man. That game is it's pretty nice. I didn't think it was going to be like that. It's, it was alright. Yeah, but this is it right here. And then when you exit back out, it goes right back to your it goes right back to your USB loader, so you can go jump right into another game, so you won't have to go all the way back to it. So everything real flowing by. You can change your background on it and change your music. Just like I had the Mario music playing when uh, USB first loaded up. You can have any type of background music you want playing up there. It's pretty cool. I feel like it, it, it was worth the time that it took to do it. I mean, it was real easy and real simple. And get I download, I download games every day. That's something new to do. Alright, and probably for the rest of this video, I'm going to be dying, it looks like. <laughs> but for the rest of the video, I'm just going to be running around playing as Mario. Feel free to stay tuned or go check out another video. Holla. Beast of Boy Drama. Go.